Hello and welcome to this tutorial on configuring and managing a basic firewall using UFW, the uncomplicated firewall. This is an essential skill for securing any Linux system, so let's dive in. What is a firewall? A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. What is the uncomplicated firewall? UFW, or the uncomplicated firewall, is a user-friendly front-end for managing IP tables firewall rules. It simplifies the process of setting up a firewall to secure your system. Here we are on the Ubuntu community wiki for UFW and it says UFW the uncomplicated firewall is the default firewall configuration tool for Ubuntu. It is developed to ease IP tables firewall configuration. UFW provides a user-friendly way to create an IPv4 or IPv6 host-based firewall by default, UFW is disabled. Let's dive into some basic usage. You're going to need to open up a terminal. Once you've opened up your terminal, we can start with the basics of managing UFW the uncomplicated firewall. The first thing you want to do is enable UFW. When you turn on UFW or enable it, it uses a default set of rules that should be fine for the average home user. In short, the default setting is all incoming is denied, with some exceptions to make things easier for home users, and all outgoing is allowed. To enable UFW, simply type the sudo UFW enable command. We can see that the firewall is enabled and active on system startup. To disable UFW, you could just type sudo UFW disable. And we can see that the firewall is stopped and disabled on system startup. If UFW is not installed on your system, you can simply use your package manager for Debian. Certainly Ubuntu is apt. I'll type in sudo apt install UFW. We can see that the latest version is already installed. If, the later, if it wasn't installed, it would be installed. If it was installed but needed to be upgraded, it would be upgraded. That's sudo apt install UFW and you can use whatever package manager for the distribution that you're using. If I now, after having enabled or disabled UFW, want to see what the status is, I can simply type sudo UFW status and I can add the verbose parameter to get a more verbose output. When I hit enter, it's telling me that the status is inactive. So if I go ahead and do sudo UFW enable, I hit enter, the firewall is enabled, and I retype the sudo UFW status verbose command. It's giving me a rich output. It tells me that the status is active. Logging is off. We're going to get into logging and we're going to show you how to enable logging. Default is deny for incoming, allow for outgoing, disabled, routed. New profiles, it's skipping. And we can see all the rules that have been set up here. So we've got for 443, it's allowing anywhere. Anywhere allowing from these are IP addresses that I've worked with in the past. Uh, port 22 TCP, which is SSH, is limited. 22 is allow. 80 TCP is deny in, etc., etc. And it's showing us whether it's version 6, everything else is version 4. Let's go ahead and clear our screen. Allow and deny, or specific rules. So, to allow connections based on a specific port or a specific protocol, you can just go ahead and use the sudo ufw allow. So, the port you can put in, the protocol is optional. To allow incoming TCP and UDP packets on port 53, I would type in sudo ufw allow 53, I hit enter. And it tells me that the rules has been added. To specifically allow TCP packets coming in on port 53, I would type in sudo ufw allow 53 for the port. I'd give it a forward slash and I type in the protocol which is TCP. I hit enter and it's telling me that the rule has now been added. To allow specifically UDP communication on port 53, I could type in sudo ufw allow 53 and then protocol is UDP. I hit enter and I can see that the rule has been added. To deny 
or to create deny rules for the same. I could simply type sudo ufw deny 53. The rule will be updated. All traffic on port 53 will be denied. To specifically deny according to protocol, sudo ufw deny 53 on TCP. Hit enter and I can see the rule is updated. Similarly for UDP, sudo ufw deny 53 UDP and we can see that the rule has been updated. Let's clear our screen. Delete an existing rule. To delete a rule, simply prefix the original rule with delete. For example, if the original rule was sudo ufw deny 80 on port tcp, I could simply prefix this with sudo ufw delete deny delete deny on 80 port port 80 on tcp and i hit enter i can see that the rule has been deleted let's clear our screen you can also allow or deny by service name since ufw reads from etsy services to get a list of services simply can do sudo or not but we can use less as a great tool and we can be found in etsy services we can see that all our services has now been listed for example we have ssh as a service it's running on port 22 tcp to traverse through less you can use your spacebar and to exit i can hit the q key allow by service name for example let's use secure shell for example, to allow secure shell by name, sudo ufw allow ssh, we can see that the rule has been updated. To deny by service name, we simply type in sudo ufw deny ssh, we can see that the rule is updated and ssh has been denied. Let's go ahead and clear our screens. And let's talk about logging. Logging is useful for troubleshooting and it's also important with regards to security. If you're performing an incident response, you, for example, you would want to look at firewall logs. You can enable logging in UFW by simply typing in sudo UFW logging and then on. We can see that logging has been enabled. If you'd like to disable logging, you just simply type in sudo UFW logging off. And we can see that logging has been disabled. I'd like to enable logging. Advanced syntax. You can also use a fuller syntax specifying the source and destination addresses, ports and protocol. Let's look at allowing by a specific IP address. To allow by a specific IP address, I simply type the sudo ufw allow from and then I can specify the IP address. So for example, 192.168.1.1. I hit enter and it will tell me that the rule has been added to go ahead and to deny traffic from that same IP address I simply go ahead and I put the deny keyword where the allow keyword was and we can see that our rule has been updated allow by specific port and IP address if I would like to allow from a specific port and an IP address I can go ahead and type in sudo ufw allow from and then my IP address is the target 192.168.1.1 for example and I can go ahead and add to any port I'm going to use port 22 as an example and we can see that the rule has been added to go ahead and deny I would simply change the allow keyword to deny and we can see that the rule has been updated to allow by any specific port, IP address and protocol, I use the same command which is ufw or sudo ufw allow from the target which is the IP address and then to any port 22. Then I go ahead and I add the proto for protocol keyword and I add the protocol which in this case I'm choosing TCP and we can see that the rule has been added. You can go ahead and do the same thing for another protocol UDP. And we can see that the rule has been added. 
UFW stores and deals with rules in a numbered way. So working with numbered rules. You can go ahead and use the status numbered command to show the order and number of the rules. So sudo UFW status and then we go ahead and add the numbered keyword and we can see that my rules numbered from 1 all the way to 23 are shown in a numbered order. Editing numbered rules. You may delete rules using the number. So let's go ahead and type in our status numbered. We can identify which rule we'd like to delete. So for example, we'd go, like to go ahead and delete rule number 10, UDP. We can simply use the sudo UFW delete and then I add the number 10 and we can see that it's deleting. Would like to prompt me for a yes or no? Yes, and the rule is deleted. When I go ahead and run my status numbered, I can go see that that rule has been deleted and it is the list has been shifted up by one. And now 10 is a different rule. To insert a numbered rule, the same numbered rule, we can type in sudo ufw insert number 10, which is the number we're working with. Say allow from the IP address, which was 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one to any port fifty three, and we can see that the rule has been inserted. When I go ahead and do sudo ufw status numbered, we can see that rule ten port number fifty three from the specified IP address has been inserted. To recap, we've been through the basics of using the uncomplicated firewall for more resources and help you can simply use the man pages in linux or in any linux and we can see that our manual pages exist for ufw use your spacebar to go through them use q to quit or you could simply type in ufw dash dash help and we have our simplified help hope you've enjoyed this tutorial look forward to seeing you on the next one